Hi, my name is Craig Calvert. I'm making this video because uh, it was a requested on, on Facebook. It is a, a video about how to use PixInsight to create a Hubble palette image of a, of a, of a in this case, a nebula that was uh, captured using a, a color camera. In this case, the color camera was the ASI 2600MC Pro. I also used the uh, Optolong Elixtream filter to capture this, but this is not specific to data captured with a filter. So what you see in front of you is M16. It's an image of M16, uh, the Eagle Nebula. It was already processed in PixInsight to, a, to my standards of satisfaction. Uh, the colors weren't modified other than to use photometric color calibration. So what you see here is, is a dominantly red object, um, and that's because most of the light, uh, the wavelengths of light that, that was uh, captured by the camera were, was from the hydrogen alpha, which uh, is a red spectral color. Uh, the lighter colors in the middle uh, the, are because that's where the uh, blue and the green colors are, um, which were from the oxygen three. So let's, uh, let's, let's see what we can do with this. The first thing I wanted to do, however, is to remove the stars because I don't wanna modify the colors of the stars during this process. So I've already done that and I, I will show you uh, the result of the process. Uh, two, two results actually, um, I, use, I use StarNet and with StarNet I made sure I checked this box, create star mask when I processed it, and this is the result of, it's the starless image and the mask itself. Now the mask I'm not gonna use as a mask, I'm going to use it later to add the stars back in, but since it was captured from a color image, the stars still have their, their natural colors. So we'll iconize that. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to, uh, to split the channels, the red, green, and blue channels. Let's take a look at them. And what you'll see is, as you could probably guess, let me put this away, is that it's dominated by red. Very much, very much brighter color um, or, uh, image than, uh, than you see in, the, in either the green or the blue channels. So one of the things that you might wanna do, and I'm going to do, if you want to enhance, say, the blue in, in the final image is to use the histogram transformation, and let me zero this out, take a look at it, and maybe stretch it a bit. We'll darken it up. There you go, and we'll just lighten it slightly. I don't want to overdo this. Um, you could actually make it worse if you do, but I'd say that's probably good enough. Maybe slightly more. And we'll do that. Okay, there's your blue. Uh, I'll do a little bit of the same with green. And I'm actually going to leave red alone for now. It's, it's plenty bright. So put this away. Now if I want to, and to bring out the blues, which is what I'm trying to try, one of the things I want to try to do in the center of this, of the nebula where you see the blues concentrated, I'm going to have to do something with the red because it's obviously going to overwhelm the blue color. And so what I do is a little trick, which is kind of key to this method. Uh, let me take these and put them away for a second. Now I'm going to create something called, I'm going to call it red minus blue with pixel math, which is simply taking the red channel and subtracting the blue. And then I'm going to call it, again, I'm going to create a new image. I'll call it red minus blue. And we'll compare it with the original red here and 
Let's see what happens. Okay, you can see it's a couple of things. One, it's 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 a little bit darker, um, and and it, it's a little more subdued, and definitely much more subdued in the middle, where the blue is. So I'm gonna leave that be for now, and I want to though take the blue in particular. But I'll do it with both, and see how much darker this is. I'm going to again go into the histogram transform transformation, and I'm going to try to somewhat match the intensities. It's a bit of a judgment call. Okay, uh, that's probably good enough. I'll do the same with the green. And you know, if you don't like the way it comes out, you can come back and and uh, redo this a bit. But I think it'll work. There. All right. So let's uh, put this away. And there we have the three. Now, I'm, now the rest of the process is mostly just recreating. So we go back in the pixel math. And we'll go to the expression editor and we're going to assign red, green, and blue colors. So for red, I'm going to assign, because I want it to be this Hubble palette, it's, it's not real red, it's more of an orangey color. So the way I found it, it kind of works, is if I do 75% red, uh, the red, that's the red minus blue, so 0 0.75 times the red minus blue plus 0 0.25 times the green. And then in the green, we do just the opposite. We do 0 0.25 times the red minus blue plus 0 0.75 times the green. And the blue will just be the blue channel. We'll just assign the blue to the blue. Okay, uh, let's get out this for comparison. I'm going to create a new image and I'm just going to call it Hubble for now. Okay, and let's see what it looks like. Well, let me just make sure it should be RGB, but make sure. Okay, now you might say, look at this and say, well, that's kind of not very. Uh, looking <laughs> it's it's dim but what you do to it then is you get out the curves transformation and this won't take much and you play with it a little bit so in this case I'm going to increase the contrast well increase the saturation some and I could keep going further if I wanted to but actually I'm just going to leave it like that. I think maybe a little more here. Whoops. <laughs> uh, this one. Okay. All right. So now let's take a look. So there we go. And of course, like I said, you could play with that a little further if you wanted to. It looks pretty good. Now we have one more thing to do. We want to add the stars back. So, and that's adding this back into that. So what I'm going to do, uh, sorry, pixel map, very simple. I'm going to take this thing called Hubble. I'm going to add back the star mask. And I'm going to call it, well, actually, I'm just going to replace the target image. Uh, so I'm just going to replace this with with uh, by adding the the stars back in, and we'll see what happens. There you go. Now we can compare the two. You know, and again, I do, I went through this very quickly, obviously, but 
I think it looks kind of natural. I mean, you get the wispiness of the blue here as you would, as it actually is. Um, you get this definition and uh, I think it looks all right. So hopefully this, uh, you find this helpful and, and useful and hey, let me know if uh, you use it and then try it and it works. Appreciate it. Thanks.